Kelly, you know, if this is really going to work out, you're going to have to give me some space in the master bedroom for my clothes, right? I'm tired of getting dressed in the guest bedroom. I told you you could use the closet in the guest bedroom for your things. The guest bedroom? No, no, no. If I'm going to be a permanent resident here, Kelly, then I should have space for my clothes in the master bedroom, not just the guest. Well, if you're becoming a permanent resident in this apartment, maybe you could try paying some actual rent and you could get some space in my closet. What are you talking about? I paid you like 200 bucks for bills and shit last week. Yeah. Do you know what I actually pay in rent here, Mike? Yes, Kelly. You actually pay nothing because your parents, they own the place. Mm. Mm. Yeah, whatever. Speaking of which, when are you going to ask them if you can officially move in? Soon, I guess. I mean, what's the rush? It's been six months, Mike. I can't just keep telling them you're looking for the right place. Damn! It's been that long since I got kicked out of my place? All right, I'll ask them soon. So, are you working tonight? No, it's Sunday. I don't ever work on Sunday. And secondly, Seth's coming over because we're gonna help Jody move. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't realize what day it was since it seems like every day is Sunday for you. Ha ha. So, it's official? Seth and Liz are getting divorced? Yeah, I guess they finalized the papers last week and uh, she got the house and he got, I don't know, his dignity back? That's sad. I was really hoping they'd be able to work it out. What finally decided it? I don't know. Maybe because she's a stark raving mad bitch? Mike! What? It's true. Anyways, I don't think he has much. I was going to give him the old TV from the guest bedroom as kind of a housewarming gift. That's nice. You can tell him it's from both of us. But it's my TV. Hey, what's up, Seth? How you doing, man? All right, I guess. You ready to move? No, but it doesn't matter anyways, because I'm the only one that has a car. This is true. Oh, uh, hey, I got you something for your new place. Oh, sweet, thanks, man. It's from both of us. Uh, of course it is, Kelly. Thank you. All right, so you ready to get the show on the road? Yeah, let's do this. Yeah. All right, see you later, Cal. Have fun, you two. Jodine lives in the shittiest apartment in the city. Foreigners could get raped here. Whoa, whoa, not cool, man. Well, I'm not saying I advocate you. I'm just saying it's probable. Well, yeah, it smells like pot and piss, but pot and piss are not rape. They're usually connected, Mike. Yeah, whatever. Where the crap is he, man? He lives in a damn studio. Jody! I was crapping, that's where the crap I was. Never man. God damn it, Jody, you have nothing packed. No, I'm packed. But there is shit all over your floor. Are you collecting toilet paper rolls? Yeah, I was. Dude, we are not helping you pack. No, no. I am packed. But all of your shit. Yeah, I, I'm not taking it. My, my new place doesn't allow furniture. In your parents' basement? Yeah, I mean my parents' basement. They are very pissed off about the things that I own. They don't want it in their place because they say that it smells bad and it ruins their carefully generated feng shui and they don't believe that I should have a bed until I've earned one, so I'm not taking anything with me and if you don't like it, you can just go eat figs. You can't leave the rest of your shit. Yeah, I mean, you're not gonna get your deposit back. Oh, shit, that boat is sailed. Bag of crap. Oh, I didn't flush, so we could. I, let's just go. Whoa, one thing. Sweet TV. No room, Jody. Aw. Yeah, you know, I like it. It still needs a few things. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, fuck my life. What the hell? Housewarming gifts. For what? Well, you 
can make bongs out of them, like action TV scientist MacGyver. Or I could just go buy a bong, like a person with a job. Yeah, if you want to be a show-off. All right, I think we're all hooked up back here. Oh God, I think my eyes are gay. What the hell? Seth, you are single. You are divorced. You have a bachelor pad. You never need to wear pants again. You're right. I don't have to wear pants anymore. I am a man. King of my castle. Yeah! And you don't have to put the toilet seat down anymore. Yeah! And you can drink milk straight from the carton. Yeah! yeah you can. And you know what? I don't ever have to watch What Not to Wear or American Idol or anything on Lifetime ever again. Yeah! Well, Lifetime's not bad. What? You know, Kelly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, but definitely not American Idol ever again. Oh, Crystal Bower sucks makes me... Yeah! I can play video games 24-7 if I want. Yeah! Yeah. Yes, I can. And I don't have to play video games on a 27-inch crap-ass Panasonic TV either. Hey. Sorry. I'm a man, goddammit. A man who may have lost my couch, but got my balls back. Yeah! And I say unto you, gentlemen, we don't have to play Xbox on this. We can play Xbox on a big, giant, flat-screen, high-definition, giant motherfucking TV! Damn it, Jody. I didn't mean tonight, dumbass.